move on to uh, the Cecropias. Okay. All right. This is this is my board Hi. here. Can I ask you to hold that, Kristen? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I remember okay. that. Like that. Last year. Okay. Wait. Where's me? This is the second generation of Cecropias here at Maudsley. All right. It, a cecropia is a moth. All right. uh, a moth and a butterfly is their antennae. A moth has feathery and a butterfly has very straight narrow with knobs on the end. This is the way they start out. These are actual eggs of a cecropia moth. Cecropia. Yes. That's a funny name. Cecropia. You can pass them around. These did not actually hatch. So that's why I can use them for demonstration what purposes. They just weren't healthy enough. Well, I watched it hatch. It was like oh, so it was, a, it, it, was a it was a chrysalis. It was a chrysalis. It wasn't yeah. a cocoon because that was the that was that's the difference. Butterflies spin good. a chrysalis and moths spin a spin a cocoon. Okay. Okay. All right, but just so, just to show you the next stage, they hatch from their egg and they're like these little teeny black. I call them jimmies. That's all I can refer to them as what you would relate to. But you can see Jimmy. how, how in reference to size, how big they are. And then in the next few weeks, they actually molt a number of times. They're, they, I don't have any in this picture, but they become a bit larger from the black version, and they're orange and yellowy. And then they'll Why? molt again, and they'll be this green, and then they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger until... Like this is from Family Day last year. I had a display. Um, it shows how until, and that's, that's, they, until turn they turn into spin Moth. this cocoon. Moth. And the this type of caterpillar that spins this cocoon will winter over. A sick so I have to, I keep these all winter long outside in a safe place, and then next May and June is when they emerge the as the adult. No, I'm just going to pass around this one. Got one. And I like the big oh, one. Really I know, cool. but cool. Hey, like this? Uh huh. What do you think allows me to do this? That's right. So if you see some of the other ones that are that are kind of balancing on the sticks there, if they would, if when they move, yeah, they they can be sharp because the birds will eat them. Not when they're at this stage. Usually when they're. And they're not going to bite you because you you're you're not a tasty meal. You're not any type of vegetation. So don't I'm be afraid of that at all. This is black cherry. They mm -hmm. like the leaves um, and you, go, you don't have any. They grow cherries? They have little black seeds. In comparison, even a longer than my finger, no, I could use another finger, but I won't. <laughs> and and almost the same, almost the same width or diameter around. You like too? Okay. <laughs> All right, but um, is being Where's done in the book. Where's fungus go? <laughs> oh, raptors. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> okay, go. Hi. Show it to me. Joe. Uh, oh, the moss. Oh, the cicada. <laughs> Oh, Oops, bring you back Oops. on! Oh, it just broke yeah. down there. It did get back down. You got it? Yep. Wait, can I? Catch on. Can I see? All right, I don't want to lose that cicada, but we need yeah. to move on. Yeah. My little mini screen house. Okay. Exhibit there. Here. Any fingers under yeah. there? Under there. Your, your TV. All right. No. Under Moving the on to the next subject, which is raptors. Okay? No. All right, let's yeah. go inside.